Thank you very much. Welcome back. Benidorm star Mr Johnny Vegas is in the building alongside with internet legend Lauren Luke herself and she's going to teach us all how to be beautiful. <laughs> so I'm looking for a guinea pig to put makeup on. <laughs> You're like those women in the shops. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Sit on a stool in the middle of Selfridges. <laughs> or some girls larding it up. <laughs> and your tangerine with great big blue eyes and some old drag queen perched on the stool. <laughs> And then they look back and they go, oh, you look lovely. <laughs> I feel like going up and saying you don't love. Get in the lab and wash your face with a flannel, you look shocking. <laughs> anyway, it's time now for my first guest. Now, this lady has been an entertainer for more than 30 years. She's headlined everywhere from Vegas to the Moulin Rouge, and she even survived a fortnight on Celebrity Big Brother. She's a member of one of the world's most famous families. She and many of her brothers have had successful recording careers, but it was their brother Michael who became the superstar. Will you please welcome the lady herself, the one and only Miss Latoya Jackson. Let me hear you, please. <laughs> You look fabulous. Thank you. I love the thank boots. You. Hi, thank you very much. How are you doing, Latoya? Are you OK? <laughs> yes, yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Listen, congratulations on Big Brother. I really thought you showed great dignity on oh, that show. Oh, I thank Didn't you. you. How you? kind. How really kind. dignified. <laughs> and, no, really. And you're thank the lovely, you. quiet grace. <laughs> Seriously. While all the others are all... <laughs> you sat in the middle, completely composed. <laughs> Always the lady. Why, thank you very much. Did you I enjoy see. yourself in there? Yes, I did. I, it was yeah. quite an experience, very different for me, and, and I got a lot out of it. I, yeah. um, I came out of my shyness a great deal, actually, I know you, from being you, there. I read somewhere you yes. said you were yes. extremely shy. Yes, of course. Yes. And so that helped me a great deal. It must be hard to go in a room from complete strangers <laughs> not to live with them, sleep with them, eat with them. No, it really is. Yeah. Well, for me, it is. It was yeah. very difficult. I think for anybody in my family, for that matter, it would be extremely difficult. However, um, a lot of the people that were on the show were very comfortable with it, which is great. Yeah. I wish I could have been that way. I'd hate it. <laughs> I'd, I'd stay in bed with the duvet over my head, say, I'm not coming out. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I have to say, I'm really sorry to hear about the death of your brother. That was mm. absolutely shocking. Thank you. How yes. are you and how's the family? How are your family doing? How's your yeah. mother and father? My, my parents are well. They're, yeah. doing, they're doing fine. It's, it's a, one of those um, things, um, Paul, where you take each day at a time. Yeah. Each day I get a little bit stronger each yeah. day. And, and that goes for my mother and everyone else in the family. Yeah. I don't think people have quite, can quite believe that your brother's gone yet, you know. It's, Has the reality hit home yet? It's, it's very difficult to believe that this has actually happened or taken place. It's, it's funny because you, you want to believe that he's still with us. Yeah. You want to believe that he's still here. However, I find that when you're alone, moments of silence, it's the silence that kills me more than anything yeah. else. You find yourself just breaking down in tears because yeah. of the silence. Does having a big family at a time like this help? I mean, there must be a lot of support amongst the family. Having a large family definitely helps a great deal. Yeah. It's, um, it's probably the best thing that, that my parents could have done was to have a large family with lots yeah. of children because you stay occupied, you keep your mind off of it in a sense, but it's still there, it's still it's lurking shocking. in the back. I'm really sorry. It really is, thank yeah, you. I really am sorry. Do you think Michael was working too hard? Because I read that you had bad feelings about this concert. It's interesting because his daughter, Paris, was saying to me um, in, the, in the hospital, she just couldn't understand a lot. At the time, she goes, the cardiologist was the best, and how could this happen? She goes, you know, Auntie Latoya, what happened was that they worked him too hard. They, were, they just worked him too hard. He yeah. never got a chance. The rest it was nonstop work. I said, you're kidding. And she says, no, you don't understand. They just kept working him, and, and Daddy didn't like that, but they just worked him constantly. That's disgusting. And I felt so bad. Yeah. I said, you got to be kidding. So all these things, you start putting all these elements together, and you start thinking, okay. Yeah. She's saying this, this one's saying that. Yeah. You know, it makes a lot of sense. You sift the evidence, don't Yes, you? of course, yeah. of course. How did he seem the last time you saw him? How was he? He was very, very happy. Yeah. He was, he was always Michael, yeah. very, very um, always laughing, giggling, yeah. very cordial, of course, and just giggling, laughing, having fun, just because we, we were all together as a family. Yeah. And um, very sweet, and of course, he was working hard. I asked him how rehearsals were going. And he says, they're OK. And what's the situation with the case at the moment? Well, it's still uh, being investigated. Yeah. The uh, investigators are still doing their investigation. Yeah. And we're basically um, working with them yeah. and leaving it up to them. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm in contact with them, I work with them, yeah. and I'm leaving it up to them for them to make the right decisions. Yeah. And finally, we will see the results, and we hope that justice will be served. I hope the truth comes out and will emerge in yes, the end. I absolutely. really do. It has to, doesn't it? Yes, it of really course. Of Can course. I ask you something? You don't have to answer this. Do you sure. suspect foul play? Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Absolutely. Yeah. I do. And, and I thought that from day one. Because you must understand something. Michael always told me, he says, Latoya, if anything happens to me, if I die, it's because someone murdered me, because they will kill me. Yeah. They're trying to kill me. And he would say that. And it wasn't being delusional or anything. He would say that they're doing this over his publishing, his catalog. Because, you know, he owned the Beatles catalogs. And, and most of the entertainers out there, he owned a lot of their music. Yeah. And he would always say, they're going to kill me over that catalog. It's so dangerous. He would go back and forth with, I don't want it. It's too dangerous and the whole bit. And then he would go, no, but it's mine and I bought it and I deserve it. But I don't want it. It's just dangerous. And, and he said, they'll kill me over it. And look what happened. You know, I was in Russia when I, I found out the news. And they were lying in the streets oh, with pictures of him. They were outside. All how this. sweet. I mean, it was just incredible to see. Absolutely oh, incredible. Yeah. Now, his music is going to outlive us all. Yes. That, that's, that's a good thing. And that's yeah. a great part that is of that at all. Thing, yes, yeah. absolutely. And there's a new film as well. Yes, it yeah. is. There is. There yeah. is. We're going to show a clip of the film, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to show a clip now. Watch this. Let's do it one more time. I love you. I really do. I'm a family. Just know that. Who's there? Who's there? Mama, Mama, Mama. Yeah, I'm singing. Don't stop doing it. 